Hello and welcome to another IELTS speaking practice video. Today, Miss Lisa Tron is going to do her practice. So let's start with part one. So we did a few already. So let's go to topic number eight of uh, part one. Miss Lisa, do you know what bargain is, right? Yes, I know what bargain, bargain is. Right. Okay. In Vietnam local market. Oh, I don't like bargaining. It's, it just makes me feel very cheap, you know, làm mình cái rẻ rúng. Because I feel like everything has a price already. If you bargain, you are trying to, uh, you don't appreciate thing. You depreciate it. Làm cho nó giảm giá trị xuống, không có trân trọng. No. It so feels like bargain are... is Sorry? not only about finance is also related to term or condition yes i know that. but still yes it i know but still like, it just make me lot. feel like that you know okay and of course it can vex people it can make people very angry you know like uh you can vex people làm cho người ta fuck ý to vex so people how, how 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 do we write that word here yeah. to vex people to make people very angry and of course they will shout at you if you bargain uh, in the morning you know <laughs> you should not bargain in the morning in the north of vietnam đừng mặc cả vào sáng sớm ở miền bắc việt nam but not me not a very sorry ví dụ như là bạn mặc cả vào buổi sáng mà bị người ta đốt lý it's terrible because in the north of vietnam if you bargain if you bargain in the morning in the north of vietnam people will shoo you away like shooing a stray dog người ta sẽ đuổi mình đi giống như đuổi chó đó đuổi đuổi chó dại đuổi đuổi con chó mà nó 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 đi hoang rồi đó để hồ sư vừa quay lại sư anh straight đó I think it's uh, I think because in English there's no expression like what you're saying burning uh, papers to get rid of bad spirit I think but because in English there's no culture like that you know so it would sound really weird to try to translate culture of Vietnam to the culture of English by English, you know. Và tiếng Anh nó không có cái chuyện đó đâu nha, nó chỉ có đuổi đi thôi, chứ nó không có chuyện mà đốt phong long nha, cho nên là mình cố tìm cách gán ghép cái cái tình huống đó vào cái ngôn ngữ tiếng Anh nó kỳ lắm. <cười> but if you want to, I can say they burn they burn paper in order to shoo away bad spirit. Đốt giấy để mà đuổi những cái linh hồn xấu, những cái uh, phong long á. Uh -huh. To shoo away bad spirit. You know the word shoo. Okay, check this one out. Shoo, 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 shoo. Đi 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 đi. Set to animals or children to make them go away, you see. Shoo. With an exclamation mark, dấu chấm thang này. To shoot, to make a sound a movement in order to send animal or children away. Đuổi trẻ con, đuổi động vật đi. Okay. Okay, so basically, that what happened. So, Miss Lisa, do you often bargain? Uh, honestly, I do not often bargain because mm -hmm. I'm a tired of uh, people. People and I am afraid of people scroll me, especially in a public place. So in, a pub in public places, you mean? Yeah. So when I want to buy stuff, ah, I when I buy, I want to buy item. Không có dùng stuff trong IEL nha, không chính trọng. When I uh, when I would like to when I buy items some items, yeah, I I will go into the supermarket because uh, the price is price fixed. the it's... price the price the price it fixes 
and it's impossible to bargain. Uh -huh. You just only pick whatever you want and and pay, pay for that. Hmm. I see. We we don't need to interact with the other people too. So that's why I like going to supermarket to buy mm -hmm. good. Because there's no bargaining in the supermarket, no? Yeah, it is impossible. Mm. Of course it's impossible. If you try to bargain in the supermarket, people will look at you like you're an alien. Nhìn mình như là mình là cái người ngoài hành tinh vậy đó. But, they will look at you like you're an alien. But as I know, a lot of supermarkets, they discount the fry after 8 p.m. So can we... After a certain hour. Bargain? after Yeah, after a certain hour of the day, the price will drop. So you should wait for that. Yes, correct. Um... Chờ nó một cái giờ nó tự động, tự động là giá cả nó giảm xuống mà. Like after 6 o'clock in the uh, p.m., some food, the price will drop by like 50%, I think. So we can count that is a kind of bargain? Um, yes, but you don't bargain actively with people. So you can say, what a bargain. It means oh. it's so cheap. Oh, my God. Rẻ thật đấy. What a bargain. It's, it's, a, it's a saying. It means it's really cheap. Oh my God. Yes, correct. So where can people bargain, Miss Lisa? Uh, in Vietnam, it's common in local markets or uh, Baza. But in business, we can see in signing contracts so we can uh, bargain the price or term and condition uh -huh. something like that I see now and so um... bargain for the benefit mm. and sometimes it is a way to solve the conflict too uh-huh Okay, so where can okay, so how can you bargain? Can you give an example? Okay. I think before we start a bargain, we, we uh -huh. start to start bargaining, we need to research for information. The research information about it now? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I think we should give the bargain at the beginning instead of uh mm -hmm. I see. Uh can you give an example? Like for example, if you go to a shop, okay, you can, and you buy clothes, how can you bargain? Let's 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 take an example of that. I think I need to research. I, I need to set the mm -hmm. price of that item first, and then uh, I need to ask the seller mm -hmm. the price of the item, and we can give a lower price, but I mean a reasonable, not the lowest one. So maybe the seller will agree with that because mm -hmm. uh, the seller also wants to sell their product quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I see. Now, so can you give examples of things people can bargain for? Uh, in the local market, uh, people can bargain when they buy vegetable or fruit or meat, something like that. But as I said, in the business, they also can bargain by the price 
the term and condition to mm -hmm. okay right so um it depends on the terms and conditions correct now so what can uh, people not bargain for what do you think i mean or it's actually a bad idea to bargain to to try to bargain for those things like for example okay. services you don't bargain with a cleaning lady for her service <laughs> you know otherwise your home would not be clean yeah. or you don't bargain with doctors and teachers <laughs> you never do that yeah that's right okay can you give examples of things that people should not bargain maybe with the item which is uh cheap or we can see a lot of farmers sell the product in the market so i think mm -hmm. it's necessary to bargain to buy product from them mm -hmm. of course when you go to the hospital when you need to face with an important issue to face important issue không có face what yeah to face something to face... you don't have a preposition không có giấy tờ when we have to face a difficult uh, situation or a um, dangerous disease. Mm. So, bargain is impossible too. And, and of course, when you uh, got catch by the police, when you drive the motorbike, uh -huh. you cannot bargain with them. Well, well, it depends, I think. But some people they still have a very thick face. To have a very a very thick uh, face, you know, mặt dày lắm luôn. Some people they have a very thick face. They bargain a lot, you know, with any situation. Like for example, I I have seen parents who bargain when they ask me to teach their children, you know, <laughs> very thick face. Oh my god! Of course, of course, I said no. You go away now. I shoot them, you know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, where can people bargain and where can people not bargain? Now it's about where, okay? Uh, so think about street markets. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, street market. Think about um, the uh, shopping mall. Shopping think about, mall. Uh, what's it called? Department store. Think about um, there are markets inside of a complex. What is it called? Những cái chợ bên trong một cái khu phức hợp nó gọi là gì ta? We have food court, of course, but nobody bargain at food court. Really, <laughs> nobody do that. Anyway. Um, Okay, so where can people bargain and where can people not bargain, Miss Lisa? I think people can bargain in the in the local market or street market, but uh, it's impossible to bargain when you're shopping in a mall or department store, and of course supermarket also because all the price is fixed. Mm -hmm. Fixed. All the price are fixed. All the price are fixed. 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 I'm yeah, Because all the prices are fixed. <clears throat> okay, good. So, um, how about when you are asking for a service? I mean, online service. Can you bargain over there? Uh, I think with nowadays a lot of uh, e commercial, 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 uh, commercial platform uh, develop uh, quickly, like TikTok shop, they discount a lot. I, I don't know when they discount a lot the price, 
So consumer get the benefits. So it is uh, considered that, that a bargain? Yes, can be considered as a bargain, yeah. Yes. So nowadays, a lot of people uh, buy good in the TikTok shop instead of uh, go to store. Of course, that's, uh, that's, so, um, that's so common these days. Mm -hmm. That's really common these days for those kind of people, you know. <clears throat> but uh, do Vietnamese people often bargain? What do you think? Uh, like this is a general situation. I think nowadays people uh, do not often bargain like previous because uh, there, yeah. because there are a lot of uh, supermarkets there and they even sell the product uh, with a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. So nowadays a lot of local market do not have a lot of buyer. Okay. So I think modern people also change their behavior in buying shopping behavior. Yes. And they change their shopping behavior in buy in uh, buying items. Like yeah. how? How do they how do they change it? Because the convenience of supermarket and the e-commercial com commercial platform, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the reason why they change the, their behavior. So we cannot see it. We we don't often see people bargain. Mm -hmm. I see. Right, I see. So uh, it's like, I think the whole shopping habit is changing and it's becoming more civilized, I think. It's becoming more civil. yeah, yeah. civilized. Buying habits of people and, of course, buying power of people as well. And people are changing it somehow, some way, but I don't think bargaining is common anymore. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, so uh, what do they often bargain for? Think about buying houses. Of course, people always bargain when they buy houses, you know, or yeah. when they are uh, asking to rent a place, they often bargain as well. So, and of course, when they buy used items, think about secondhand items. They buy used items or second-hand items. People often do that, you know? All right. So can you answer that one? What do they often bargain for? What do Vietnamese people often bargain for? Uh, Vietnamese people often bargain for by small thing. Uh -huh. When they buy houses, and also the second second hand item uh -huh. too. Yes. Second items. <clears throat> All right, second item. So what should people not bargain for? Con người ta không nên bargain cho cái gì? And why? And what do you think of bargaining? Bạn nghĩ gì về cái hành động mà mặc kẻ? What do you think of bargaining? I think bargaining is also considered as a way to solve the conflict. Mm -hmm. And Solve conflicts? Are you sure? The way they they keep the business doing and keep the connection in business, mm -hmm. but in special case we cannot do the bargain like related to your your health and education. 
I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to another topic. <clears throat> Let's do decoration number nine. So what is the decoration like in your home then? Mm. We do not decorate much in our home mm -hmm. because I just always spend time to sleep at home. Most of the time, mm -hmm. stay in the company, I'll go to, go to school to study. So... I think I don't have much time to stay at home. And mm -hmm. for the symbol, I just only use the symbol item for my daily life. Okay. It's easy to, to arrange or clean up and it's suitable with my... Okay. It's suitable with your schedule, you mean? With my, I think my my time, my my lifestyle. My lifestyle, I say. Yeah. All right. Um. So, uh, do you think decoration in the home is necessary? Necessary. I think is is necessary because uh, it uh, present the people who live in the house or. To attract people or to to let the people who live in that place feel more comfortable. And it's also related to uh, feng shui. Like Chinese people. Related to feng shui, live. yes, exactly. Okay, it's so good, good, good. All so far, so good. Now, um, so what kind of decoration do you want to have then? I think I need uh, plant trees. You need uh, potted plants? Yes, that kind of Potted plants. Right. And what else then? And of course, furniture is necessary. Furnitures, furnitures. Furniture Furnitures is necessary item to decorate mm, I see how about what do you think about uh, fake trees and fake flowers you know fake trees and flowers in the home Why, yeah, get like, okay, yeah, you know. I think it's convenient for people but uh, people will not feel comparable with that because it's not real mm -hmm. it cannot uh, bring spirit to people when they see them mm -hmm. i see <clears throat> so um of course a lot of people they have plants indoor plants indoors but they also have plants outdoor too and outdoor plants is a very good decoration what do you think of outdoor plants? Yes, uh, it also a good way to decorate by outdoor plants. Mm. But it uh, takes a lot of time to take care of that. Mm -hmm. I see. It takes a lot of time to take care of that. Yes, true. Now, so um, actually, not really. You just have to water them once every day. But in our company, we need to hire a gardener to take what? care really? of them. Really? You have to do that? Hmm. Yes. Do you have that many plants? That sounds weird, you know? Because we're in an industrial mm. house. Uh -huh. We have a lot of uh, Land that we haven't built the building, so mm -hmm. we plant trees to create the, the environment for our company. It's also a way to decorate our company. Mm, I see. I see. So, uh, 
Do Vietnamese people like to redecorate their homes? So it means that they have decorated once and now they do it again after a few years, something, something like that. Do Vietnamese people like to redecorate their home? What do you think? Why, why not? I think nowadays Vietnamese people like to redecorate their home uh, because the economic uh, develops. Uh, develops so quickly. Yeah. Quickly. So they maybe spend the amount of money mm -hmm. to improve their place by decorating activities. And decorate activity. Mm -hmm. like maybe see. in the in special or uh, occasion like uh like New Year or Christmas, they also to redecorate that place too. Uh -huh. I see. So um yeah, some people they redecorate their home because they want to live in a new environment, you know. And if your home is still the same after many years, it's weird, you know. And it's also dirty. Mình sống càng lâu một ngôi nhà, cái 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 nhà nó nó dơ lắm luôn. It's gonna be it's going to be very dirty if your homes do if you do not redecorate your home after a while. Because when they correct when they decorating, sorry, when redecorating, people also sweep the floor sweep everything and then uh, remove the dust you know before they can redecorate it so it's like it's like a kind of cleaning deep cleaning somehow before they redecorate it nó giống như phải dọn vệ sinh thật kỹ uh, trước khi mà họ trang hoàng lại nhà mm -hmm. anyway so what is your favorite color when de decorating your home and what do you think Uh, what color will not be a good fit when de decorating your home, for example? Uh, my house only have one color. Is there uh, are only there is only there, one color. There is only only one color in my house. Okay, that is a white color. I think. It's easy to find a suitable furniture. Furniture. F furniture. Uh, furniture. To, to combine with that. Mm -hmm. Right. Anything else? Okay. So uh, would you decorate the walls with paintings like or any other uh, things? Paintings, posters, pictures, anything like that? Would you decorate the walls with that? Yeah, I like painting. Uh, we have some. When I, I joined the painting class, so mm -hmm. I have some to decorate my house too. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, let's move on to another topic. Part two, something? Um, okay, so nine, okay. Some topics are just really hard. I want you to do something easier first. Now, let's try 14. Topic number 14 of part two and three. Describe a piece of local news you are interested in or you were interested in. Miêu tả một mẫu tin tức địa phương. Remember, news is uncountable. News không đếm được nha. So it's um, uncountable. So you have to say a piece of news, okay, to count it. Nó phải mượn cái piece of news để đếm nó nha. Describe a piece of local news you were interested in. Miêu tả một mẫu tin tức địa phương mà bạn lúc đó đã hứng thú. You should say what it was about. Tin tức đó về cái gì vậy? Where you saw or heard it. Bạn thấy nó hoặc là bạn nghe nó và lúc nào chỗ, ở, ở đâu? Who was involved? Ai đã tham gia vào cái việc đó? Ai đã tham gia vào cái tin đó? Explain why you were interested in it. Giải thích tại sao bạn lại hứng thú về nó. And then pop three of news. 
Where do people get the news in your country? Con người ta trong đất nước bạn có được tin tức ở đâu? Like, do they go on social media? Do they uh, get news from newspaper, TV, radio, or words of mouth, truyền miệng? And what do you think about those methods? Bạn nghĩ gì về những phương pháp đó? Try to speak, uh, try to give examples, you know. Cho ví dụ thêm. And then what kinds of news do people like to read? Con người ta thường thường thích đọc những loại tin tức gì? Try to split into different cases. Right? So tắt là nhiều trường hợp nha. Tùy nhóm tuổi. It depends on the age groups. They will have different interests. Thì họ sẽ có nhiều cái hứng thú khác nhau tùy vào nhóm tuổi nha. And think about different sex. Giới tính khác nhau, người ta cũng sẽ có cái hứng thú khác nhau nữa. Well, what kind of news? All right. And then you should give a lot of examples cho thật nhiều ví dụ. Càng nhiều càng tốt. And then how can companies tell the public its news? Những công ty có thể làm thế nào để mà nói cho quần chúng biết được những thông tin của nó, của chúng, của, của nó? Like for example, if your companies have a new service or new products, how do you advertise to advertise something, quảng cáo cái gì đó? How do you advertise it to the public? Through, they, there are some something called promotional events. Những sự kiện quảng bá. Through, <coughs> what else? Um, the website. Yes, of course, through websites. And they can uh, do a lot of uh, sales events. Like, for example, Lazada sales, Shopee sales, something like that. They can uh, advertise on electronic commerce uh, apps on e-commerce apps like Shopee, Lazada or Sendo is it the Sendo something Sendo yeah which is uh, which are the apps that we use in Vietnam now uh, also companies can tell the public its news through um, of course dramas you know <laughs> they can tell the public's news through drama yes And also, companies can uh, sponsor tài trợ. They can sponsor uh, game shows and talent show. Of course, they always do that. And through these shows, they can tell the public new products, you know? Or they can give free samples. Cho những mẫu miễn phí. Cho những mẫu thử miễn phí. To the public. Of course, nothing is free. But this is how companies tell their public the news. Okay. And then, uh, what do you think of the news on social media? Bạn nghĩ gì về những tin tức trên truyền thông xã hội? Think about fake news, of course. Think about uh, cyber bullying. Cyber bullying, việc bắt nạt trên mạng. Think about body shaming, sự nhục mạ thân thể người khác. So if someone, if you say someone is fat, ugly, that is body shaming, okay? And it's part of cyber bullying. Nó là một phần của cái bắt nạt trên mạng. Well. And then, of course, every day you see news on social media, a lot of dramas, lots of them. And then uh, think about the authenticity, 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 authenticity. Tính trung thực, tính, uh, tính thật, uh, thực tế, tính... Uh, Tính có thật của một điều gì đó. Think about the authenticity of something. Is it authentic? 
nó có thật hay không? Or is it it just fake? Think about that. And can you trust it? Is there any auto? Is there any other way to verify? To verify. To verify. A news. Kiểm chứng một tin tức. Có cách nào kiểm chứng một tin tức không? Is there any way to verify a news? Oh, sorry. To verify a piece of news. Sorry. Tại vì news không đếm được. Because news uncountable. Okay, so what do you think about public shaming of fake news? Bạn nghĩ gì về chuyện nhục mạ cho người khác trên mạng? Uh, nói người ta mập, nói người ta xấu gì đó. Hoặc là tin giả. What do you think of it? Should you should give a lot of examples to support this one, you know? What happened in the past? Cái này quá khứ nha. Be careful with the verb you use for past for task 2. Okay, you have some time to think now. Okay, Miss Lisa, please describe a piece of local news you are you were interested in. <clears throat> yes, uh, I found a uh, new related to uh, increased basic salary for worker regulation last year from the Ministry of Labor. Hmm. Uh, the Ministry of Labor. Yes. Uh, the Ministry of Labor. The Ministry of Labor. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It related to it is related employer, to employer and employees and working as uh, HR so is a really challenge for us. So we need to prepare the policy and make sure the new regulate the new policy must uh, suitable with company situation also it is also need to comparison with the market uh, that's why i interest uh, the news Okay, good, good. Now, Miss Lisa, so where do people get the news in your country? Uh, with the development of technology. Development. Những âm hai. Cái từ nó lúc nào những âm hai đó. Development. Development. The de development of uh, technology so people equip themselves by a lot of electronic device. Mm -hmm. Uh So it's easy for people to get news from electronic device like mobile phone or iPad or mm. laptop, something like that. And it's also a lot of channel you can get the news from like uh, the online newspaper, um, social media. Social media, social media. Social media. YouTube. Let me see. Now, so uh, those are the sources of news. So what do you think about those sources of news? Okay, you should also think about uh, them. Mình giải thích cái mấy cái, cái nguồn thông tin đó bạn nghĩ thế nào vậy nó? Yeah. Uh, I think people get a lot of information, but it has to verify that is the fake new or the authentic ones. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure to choose the channel is that is reliable to follow the information. Okay. Right. So what kind of news do people like to read? Read about like what topics something like that? I think it depends on the ish of people like uh nowadays young people they usually 
yes. like to read uh, the information related to social social media no but uh hope you they care about the culture the history mm -hmm. or, or the economy okay and it depends on the gender some men they like to what the video game or update the new video game information uh -huh. what the girl they kind of is like reading me related to fashion or the trend people oh, trendy things right trendy things happening around the world Trendy things happening in the country or something like that, no? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? No? Okay, so um, how about sports, education, uh, economic news, something like that? Yeah. Or news about investment, you know? Something like that. Do you know about them? Yes. Um, but not more the people they care about the investment. Only the business one they care about the 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 chance to invest. Uh -huh. Anything else? Okay, so how can companies tell the public it's news then? What do you think? Think about what I just said about promotional events, uh, sponsoring of, game shows, something like that. There are a lot of ways uh, to, to public news when company... Mm, yes. Uh, they have a lot of uh, activity to promote their products, such mm -hmm. as uh, give uh, they they hire a lot of uh, PC to give sample for people in the public place like supermarket, department store. They also sponsor uh, for. Uh, game show in the TV and okay. I also see that uh, they sponsor for the education mm -hmm. also to... our education yes exactly mm -hmm. but most of the time of course that's uh, they, they give also free samples to you know Yeah, do you see that as well? They give free samples too. Yes, uh, they give free sample for consumer, so they know the product, and maybe they the consumer will consider their product when buys item. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Very good. Okay, so. Um... What do you think of the news on social media? I think when we read the news from social media, we need to verify again uh, and we need to sort in the news to make sure the news is uh, reliable uh -huh. and they we we need we also need to to sort what kind of new we should read uh -huh. but there are a lot of uh, negative uh, news 
Yes. Like people. Behavior is uh -huh. people behavior and okay. You know, it makes people uh, angry and they fight an online war with each other. To fight an online war. One, đánh nhau, đánh nhau trên mạng. Giống như một cuộc chiến trên mạng đó. They fight an online war with each other. And there's a lot of drama on social media these days, you know, regarding celebrities. Think about it. About celebrities or famous people. So, do you think what do you think about those things? I think it's not benefit for for people. It, it's not benefit là sao? Benefit là động từ hay gì? It's not beneficial for it's not be bene be beneficial for people to watch that news. Hmm. And then and uh, what else then? It's only give the negative energies for people exactly now so uh what do you think about public shaming or fake news are there a lot of them online these days how can we deal with them how think, should the government do something about it uh that new cause a lot of uh, negative uh, issue maybe yes. maybe it's uh related to suicide or something like it affect people uh -huh. anything else how does it affect people of course uh, of course, some people they die because they kill themselves. They kill themselves because they cannot deal with, because they cannot deal with the public pressure. And they they uh, they become depressed, and they kill themselves. You know. So those things are very dire or very bad consequences that can happen. Okay. Now, what do you, what else do you think about it? I think government need to control the new that the issue in the social media. It's mm, a lot, you know. And limited the the edge, and they need to provide the solution to provide the reader. Mm -hmm. And of course. Uh, there are there are rules about it in Vietnam now. Laws and rules about that in Vietnam right now against public shaming and fake news. Of course, they are much more strict compared to Western countries. So in Western countries, fake news are everywhere, you know, and it's very difficult to take care of them, to, to, to deal with them. But in Vietnam, because the government is quite strict about fake news, you can get fine a lot of money. So I think Vietnam control fake news much better than in Western countries, I think. But public shaming is still a thing. You know, people still uh, talk bad about all the others online a lot, you know. They still do. Now, so let's go to another topic now. So this is 14. <clears throat> Uh, let's try, let's try 15. Describe a kind of weather you like. Miêu tả một loại thời tiết mà bạn thích. You should say what it is, thời tiết gì vậy, where you go in this weather, bạn đi đâu được trong thời tiết đó, and what you do in this weather, bạn làm gì trong thời tiết đó, and explain why you like it, và giải thích tại sao bạn lại thích nó. And then part three of weather. Part three nó về thời tiết nè. What do people wear in different weather? Con người ta mặc cái gì ở trong những cái thời tiết khác nhau? How does the weather influence people's life? 
Làm thế nào thời tiết nó ảnh hưởng đến đời sống của con người? Okay, think about uh, does it affect agriculture, how people grow uh, crops? How uh, and then think about human activities like studying, like uh, hanging out, like uh, social events, những sự kiện xã hội sao? And think about uh, the fact that if uh, there's no rain, can we grow crops easily? How about floodings, you know, floods, droughts? Floods. Droughts. I think droughts. Những cái vụ hạn and floods and think about um, too much rain, something like that. Or too little uh, rain, too little raining. How does it affect the people's life? And of course, it affects people's health too. Of course, when it's uh, when the sky is very gloomy, am damn. When the sky is very gloomy, you might not feel energetic. No, you will not. You will feel sleepy, so it can affect your product. Activity. Like what happened to me in the morning. <cười> And why are weather forecasts often unreliable? Và tại sao những cái dự báo thời tiết nó thường không đáng tin? Why are weather forecasts often unreliable? Think about uh, what a Unreliable weather forecast. Um, yeah, you should think about a reason for this one. Are there any festival about seasons in your country? Có những lễ hội gì về mùa, các mùa trong đất nước bạn không? Think about mid-autumn, trung thu. Think about spring festival, những lễ hội mùa xuân, summer festival. But we don't have, I don't think we have a winter festival, I don't think so. Mình không có lễ hội mùa đông này mình. We do have Lunar New Year. This is actually Lunar New Year. Uh, it's a festival that happened during mostly the winter in Vietnam. And to greet the spring. Để mà chào đón mùa xuân. So I think about March is actually spring festivals. Khoảng tháng 3 là spring festival. Okay? Around Vietnam, there are at least like 4,000 different festivals, you know. And events, khoảng ở Việt Nam thì có ít nhất khoảng 4,000 cái lễ hội luôn á, khắp nơi. Um, you should think about this one. Yes, give a lot of examples. Okay. Okay, Miss Lisa, please describe a kind of weather you like. <cười> uh, so, I would say uh, summer is the weather that I like. But also the reason why I moved from the north of Vietnam to the south of Vietnam to live. And I like the sunshine and the warm temperature here. Temperature. Temperature. Tem temperature here. Because I, I can spend a lot of time to do the outdoor activity without needing layer clothing uh -huh. and in the summer we can enjoy fresh fruits and vegetables too fresh fruits and vegetables fresh, fresh fruit uh, and we have uh, a lot of choice Uh, to do the outdoor activity like we can go to the beach enjoy the swimming or the seafood or we can choose to go to the mountain for hiking and enjoy the nature enjoy nature In, enjoy nature so that's why I like summer instead of Four season in the north of Vietnam. Okay.
Okay, very good. So let's go to part three. So what do people wear in different weather? Con người ta mặc gì trong những thời tiết khác nhau? So think about different weather and then what people wear and why do people wear them? You, what do you think about those clothes? Something like that. Uh, in the winter, so people need to wear a lot of layer of clothing to make sure they don't get cold. But in the summer or autumn, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. autumn, autumn, and autumn, autumn. Tum, tum, autumn, in autumn, autumn, mm -hmm. they only need one layer or the light. Mm -hmm. The light. Anything else? The lightweight and breathable fabric. It's okay. easy for them to do the activity. And maybe they can wear short in the summer mm -hmm. instead of uh Instead of trouser in winter, and they also wear sandal or comfortable sneaker in summer too. Mm, I see. All right. So how does the weather influence people's life then, Miss Lisa? I think uh, the weather influences people's life a lot. Influence. 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 Uh, or the... If the in if uh it rain too much cause to uh floods and the farmer it it affect agriculture so the farmer cannot have it the crop yes and it also affect transportation in the city. Transportation, you mean transportation? Yes. Anything else? Nicola, we go there. When you see anything, when you hear anything else, it means there are not enough information on the part three. You have to say more, you know. Think about how it affects the mood of people and productivity. Can people work effectively during those hours of bad weather? Can you give examples more, please? So with the bad weather, yes. some people feel sleepy. Yes. And they don't have mood to work. Maybe they wouldn't have the mood to work. Working productivity. The productivity will be bad. Mm. Anything else? Weather also affect to people. Affect to right, like affect to right. Affect people how? Mm. Right. Uh, nowadays a lot of people get uh allergic with the weather, and it's also a cause to food. Of course, that's why I had to take pills. You know, <laughs> it's terrible. Oh my god, I wish I I wish I wasn't allergic. I don't know just because the environment was uh because of the Asia people when people get old, so it's easy to get to, get to be allergic to something. Yes, because oh it's just because I'm old, thank you. <laughs> me too. To be honest, me too. So I got allergic with beef or seafood. So ah, oh, seafood's so. terrible now. 
Okay. Mm. I'm glad that I have never liked seafood. So now I have allergy to it. Excellent. No problem. I won't eat it ever in my life again. <laughs> I mean, it's excellent. <laughs> anyway, um, yes. Gloomy or rainy weather also makes people very allergic to many things, you know. Thời tiết mà nó ảm đạm, ảm đạm, ướt ác nó còn làm cho con người ta bị ướt nhiều hơn nha. Like for example, in the north of Vietnam, there is a very wet season around uh, February or March, which is terrible. It's very wet at that time and people are allergic to almost anything, you know. Lúc đó là con người ta dị ứng với tất cả mọi thứ luôn á. Là tội nghiệp lắm luôn á. Lúc đó đúng nghĩa là, là, là mệt mỏi luôn, nó dị ứng luôn á. Cái mùa nồm á, ngoài Bắc á. Oh my God, that's terrible. Have you ever heard about it? Yes, I've been in the north of Vietnam about oh. 50 years. So I know it well. Absolutely terrible. That's why people from the north, they move to the south, you know, to leave because they don't want to die in that weather. <laughs> It's terrible. Seriously. Absolutely terrible weather. Okay, so... Uh, yes, I think that's it. All right, so are they, why are weather forecasts often unreliable? What do you think? Tại sao thời kỳ bắt thời tiết lại thường không đáng tin cậy? I think first that they cannot call it enough data for uh -huh. the discuss. It's the first reason. But, and the second one, we can consider because our environment now stay changing so far because there are a lot of uh, greenhouse emission mm -hmm. and pollution. Emission and pollution, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and the third one I may consider as the equipment. The equipment. Hmm. Is not enough to give up the forecast maybe the technology you mean the technology aren't that bad to... aren't that good you know maybe yeah. maybe technology isn't that good hmm. to make like accurate prediction to, to make accurate pred prediction oh what's wrong with me to make accurate prediction these days thiết bị con người thực sự không đủ tốt để mà dự đoán cho đúng yeah well probably it's true I think people should come to astrologers to do that. Chắc con người nên đi coi chim tinh thì đúng hơn. I think yes. Because as an astrologer myself, I can predict the, the, the future. I can predict the weather too. Mm -hmm. I think I think my prediction is way better than a lot of <laughs> weather predictions. Mm. So you must apply to the... Say again? So... Do you ever consider to apply to the weather forecast? Uh, they, won't, they, they won't pay me enough. <laughs> It's about the money, of course. They won't pay me enough. Once you are once you know you are good enough, never do things for cheap. Remember that. So Because you have to understand how much you're worth, you know. That's the thing. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, are there any festivals about seasons in your country? Let's think about it. <laughs> I think in Vietnam we have the mid-autumn. Mid-autumn. Autumn. 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 Mid-autumn festival. And it celebrate the mm. yes.
All right, think about Mid-Autumn Festival, which uh, are around uh, April, about August, mm -hmm. which is right in the middle of the autumn season. What is, what is Mid-Autumn for? I don't remember. Anyway, but we also have Spring Festival and Summer Festival. You should think about that. And Lunar New Year, I told you already. Okay, let's talk about the Lunar New Year then. It's also a festival about season in your in my in uh, Vietnam. What do you think about it? When talking about the New New Year, so I think about the gather unions of family in that occasion, and we have a long holiday. It's about a week. So people have chance to spend have time. A chance with. to. People have a chance to uh, spend time with family, mm -hmm. and relative. The relatives. Relative. Yes. And Anything okay. else? Okay, think about. What do they do? What do they eat? Họ ăn gì? Họ làm gì? Họ những hoạt động gì? Think about their activities during those seasons, in those festivals. Do they uh, eat special food? Do they celebrate? Do they uh, do they celebrate it in what way? Are there any special uh, cuisine? Ẩm thực đặc biệt gì đó không? Are there any special cuisine? Um, do they wear special uh, costumes? Costumes. Costume. Costume. Do they wear special costumes? Những cái trang phục, những cái um, trang phục đặc biệt. Do they wear special costumes during those uh, festival? What do you think? Okay, I think it's better if we finish here because I think you're tired now. So, all right, so that's all for today. Uh, let's see each other on um, Thursday. Okay, I'll just...